Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we still are locked out or locked out or shut down and it's told to stay at home. So we have nine more days left and it's raining out anyhow. Can't do any work, 40 degrees, and I don't want to deal with it. And it's cold in the shop, so I have to have a heater on. So I'm glad I have that shop to work in and a heater. So what I'm doing is I have to put weights on the back. I set these on here for now. I was thinking about just leaving them on there, but uh, you know what's going to happen? It's going to bump up against that carburetor and break that thing off. So uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do is make a bracket. I went to uh, went to the shop, looked at the Skag uh, Tiger Cat, and I'm going to do just copy what it sort of what it did out in front there, so it, the waste is hanging on to it. But uh, I was going to start it up, bring it here, uh, but it won't start. And I didn't want to have deal with it today because I want to put my plow away at the same time. So. Um, that's going to be another, that's probably be tomorrow, I'll be putting everything away, put the plow away, bring the other mowers out and get everything ready to go. Because uh, it may be only nine days away, but anytime they could tell us or the governor could say, we could start. So uh, we've been emailing everybody and doing whatever we can, just trying to get things rolling here. But uh, we just want to make sure we don't get extended out any farther than we already are. Because uh, we have lawns that are ready to be cut right now. So we just got to wait. So anyhow, let's uh, get this started. The bracket for these weights on the other mower is three quarters of an inch and I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to only have uh, but 50 pounds on there versus 150 pounds so uh, it shouldn't be too hard of a deal. The biggest thing is to get everything bent around where it should be and the holes drilled in it so that's going to be the hard part. So before I cut any more off or do any beds or anything, I'm going to use these two bolts or two bolt holes, which them are three inches apart, and uh, the plate or the cutting edge is uh, four and a half, I believe it is, something like that, four and a quarter, whatever it was. So I should have enough room to uh, put the two holes in there. So, and between the plate that's going to be sitting here and this plate is going to be about three and a half to four inches. So. Uh, from the center of the hole, it's about three and a quarter. So if I go like uh, six and a half, that should get me out the bolt right here. And that would give me enough room. Right here. Ooh, that's warm yet. That's all bend it. Okay, so everything's not going as I had planned when I first started, but it's still going to work out. I'm just going to cut everything. It's actually cutting faster than I thought it was going to, so I just put the torches away. I don't want to deal with them. Uh, and just faster clean up anyhow, so 
it's working a little faster with the cutoff wheels than I thought it was going to. But oh well. So now I got to get this. Uh, I think it's believe it's 20 inches wide, and I'm going to have to get the plate the same length there, and then uh, clamp it on there and drill everything. But uh, let's get this other side here. So uh, this other side, I guess I'll go from start to finish. That way I won't be jumping all over every place and uh, get it done faster. When things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working. But there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. The other problem I have is the bolts I have are just way too long, but uh, these will will work. Problem is I'm just not going to the store. Okay, let's see how I did on drilling my holes out. lined up. Four of them have lined up. That's perfect. Carriage bolts are not going to work too well, but they'll work for now. And uh, this will be working out pretty good. So the next problem I have, not really a problem, the next thing I have to do is make a cut. I got a cut out right here so these weights can drop down and I can slide them to the outside. Oh yeah, I'm using nylock nuts on that.
I love wobble extensions. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it works good enough for me. Good enough. Another project done, and I just realized I forgot to change the blades on this. I gotta take the high lift blades off, put the gator blades on. So I'll have to do that tomorrow. I'll do that just before I load this up on the trailer and take it back to the shop. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get the um, Tiger Cat started tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll take some starting fluid with me and uh, um, take the a tester with me to see if there's getting any spark in there. But, um, it's probably something simple, it's probably just out of gas or something, but I've never had a problem with that starting like it is right now, so uh, something's going on with it, so I'll figure out, might even be a sensor or something, or one of the safety switches went bad or something, or a mouse got in there, who knows what happened with it, but uh, we'll get that started tomorrow, we'll get that back here, because i got to get that thing and uh, get that to the car wash and get that cleaned up, because that thing is just caked full of leaves, I never cleaned it up last year, so... Uh, just sitting in the shop there, wasting, doing nothing. So I haven't started that since oh, probably November or something like that. So uh, it's been sitting there a while. But anyhow, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Please comment, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next one.